Mitch Markward works from dawn to dusk, seven days a week, training and conditioning his Percherons for draft horse shows. I always kid they have breakfast before I get my coffee, and they always do. Shining Stars Percherons is located in Altoona, just northeast of Des Moines, and is home to 16 Percheron draft horses. After the horses are fed, the real work begins. In pairs, the horses are prepped before they're hitched to pull. They're meticulously groomed, and like any other top athlete, precautions are taken to prevent injury. It takes about 30 minutes just to prep one team and hook them to pull. And Mitch can't prep all of the horses by himself. Mark Sparrow began working full time for Mitch just this past spring. Although Mark is new to Shining Stars Percherons, he has spent his entire life around draft horses. We'll try to drive two to three teams in the morning before noon, and then at noon we'll feed again. Usually we get done with lunch and, and we hook another couple teams and there's always work on tack to do. Work on bridles. Uh, before we go to the shows, Mark usually trims them all. So it seems like there's always something that needs to be done besides driving the horses. Mitch's partner in Shining Stars Percherons is his wife, Diana. Her job is running the couple's two child development centers. The centers are the couple's business, the horses their hobby. This balanced investment is paying dividends in that the children enjoy field trips to learn about the horses, and both Mitch and Diana can pursue their passion for Percherons. At the 2009 Iowa State Fair, the Markwoods plan to compete in every class offered in their division. In 2008, they won several classes at the fair, competing against some of the top hitches in the nation. Today, the Markwoods are accomplished hands at hitching. However, they faced a steep learning curve when they brought home their first Percherin. Although both Mitch and Diana grew up on farms, their knowledge of horses was limited, and they had no experience with draft horses. As far as um, how we got started, uh, we just saw them at the state fair one day and decided it'd be fun to own one, and now, eight, nine years later, we've got 16 of them, and we're hitching up to eight horses and going to the shows and having fun. Well, we purchased our first Pertrin in 2000. We only went to the Iowa State Fair the first three years that we showed horses and then um, we eventually branched out and decided that we were ready to haul horses and go, you know, a little bit further. And our goal, I guess, would be to, to be in the, in the elite hitching world, in the elite part of the, the hitching world. I guess our biggest goal right now is to be ready for the World Pertron Show that will be in Des Moines in October of 2010. The horses need to really stand out to perform well at top level competitions. To enhance their striking dark sheen, Mitch dyes each horse. To protect their skin, he uses a high quality women's hair coloring that costs about $150 per horse. The movement of the horses also needs to be eye catching and at the same time meet certain standards. Mitch pointed out some of the things the judges look for in the show ring and that he scrutinizes during training. a boy, Jack. Like to see that high knee action. Basically, the, you know, you like to have them all in the same stride, the same motion. The left lead horse, his head's down a little bit compared to right. Right lead horse, he doesn't relax a lot. He just, he just likes to go. Harnessing the power of four horses, each weighing around a ton, takes both experience and finesse. Sometimes it, uh, it can be overwhelming when a horse can really take a hold of you. That's how much power there can be. It might take years for some people, but the more driving you do, the better you're going to be at learning the right tension in, in the right horse's mouth. They like to see a nice headset with the, with the noses kind of tucked in. They're pretty much in step right there. 